14, um, I'm pretty sure, of my um, septo rhinoplasty. <coughs> I am doing pretty good. I've only got a little bit of a bruise, which you can't see. It's right there. Um, otherwise, all the bruising's gone. Um, the stitches in my nose are still um, a bit gross and like crusty and stuff. Um, so that's sort of making it difficult to breathe now, which is a bit surprising because um, <clears throat> I was alright during the week, I guess before it was starting to like heal and be gross. Um, anyway, otherwise everything's good. A lot of the swelling has gone down. It looks a lot um, bigger from the front because when I had the bump, the bump was quite prominent and so it looked really really thin so he had to smooth it over and so the result is maybe it looks a bit um, bigger on my face but it's okay it's not too bad um, the the profile is good it is getting better the swelling I'm hoping the swelling if there is swelling in the tip it's gonna go down a bit more I'm not too happy with how the tip sort of, like that's what I'm not happy about. Well, you know, give it maybe a 7 out of 10 not happy about. <laughs> so it's not, it's not awful, but it's not what I expected. So I'm hoping maybe it's just swelling, it'll go down, it'll maybe be a bit more like prominent, a bit more pointed, I don't know, I don't know what I'm expecting. Um, but anyway, front, three quarters, side. Three quarters side and <clears throat> like this the bad angle that I had before with my nose you know everyone has a bad angle on their face it is still the bad angle even with my new nose so obviously you know and I thought of all things I guess with things that um, I didn't expect maybe that I should have um, or sh things I should have done differently I only saw one surgeon and even though he was lovely and he I sort of relied on um, you know what his staff and staff had to say I didn't speak to any of his previous um, patients which I wish I had done um, mainly because I had a consultation in late July like they gave me a quote and I was really happy with how much that was going to be. A few days later I went to the bank basically to get a loan and that was approved so I had that money sitting in my bank. And then after that it was sort of like well I wanted to see him again, I wanted to talk to him again but um he was, I don't know, he was on holidays or something um so it was August, so this is August and then the appointment was on the 24th or something anyway and so a few days later they call me and they say look we've got a surgery date if you want to you know reserve it like a theatre date and that was the 6th of September so as you can see it was a really short time frame and if I didn't take that theatre date I was gonna have to wait till next year if I was happy with him I was gonna have to wait till next year and I thought well I didn't want to miss out, I had the money sitting in my bank. Um, anyway, I saw him on the 24th, I brought in photos, because I brought one photo to show him that I wanted, and he said I couldn't have that basically, and I was really upset. Um, and then I brought in lots of photos of things I didn't want, just so he got an idea of what I wouldn't be happy with, well, I didn't want a sloppy job done, I didn't want like a little bit of a bump still there. I didn't want a really bad tip. I didn't want anything like that. Um, and he showed me photos of previous patients and they were okay. They were okay and I should have I should have probably listened like you know I'm not, I'm not saying that I wasn't I'm not happy with his work. It's a great nose regardless of whose face it's on it's a great nose he did a great job he was happy everyone loves it so you know and and all my friends and family liking it can't be they can't be you know i'm sure no one's gonna be like Ugh. but um yeah so 
Anyway, so I noticed a lot of the tips on the other patients in the photos wouldn't be something I was happy with, so I should have realised then he wasn't probably going to do a very good job on my tip. Um, but otherwise, and the fact he said, well look, it's still your nose. Okay, that should have been <laughs> reason number two that should have stood out a lot. It's still my nose. So, obviously this tip is the tip I had with the bum, and that's why maybe it doesn't suit a straight bridge, and yeah. Anyway, it's not, it's not too bad. To me it's just a bit bulby, that's how I feel, like it's just, like, and it looks, from angles like this, it looks really, um, dinosaur-y. I know that sounds really stupid, but it just... I just wanted like more straight, I didn't want it to be so curved here. Anyway, it was a closed um, septa rhinoplasty so I assume that's why it has turned out like this because he hasn't actually pulled um, the skin back to work on it more. Which I feel like if he had, which I didn't want an open septa rhinoplasty, I didn't want that scar there, people's nostrils, um, when it heals they're all uneven and I'm like <gasps> I said, of all the things that is really good, my nostrils are even, okay. So I was really happy I didn't want, um, yeah. Anyway, and I guess, yeah, I would have got a second opinion. I would have got a second quote and I would have, you know, I would have talked to the patients, but I just had no time and I was just so desperate and I was so happy with the quote they gave me. So I was a bit, you know, I, yeah. Anyway. It all turned out good. My nose is still intact, so I couldn't have made too bad of a decision, but that would be my advice to anyone else. Definitely seek a second opinion. Um, and you know, everyone's like, oh, I'd go overseas. I didn't want to go overseas because, well, I, d I did. I wanted to pay less, but the fear of it not turning out right was something I was just, it was too great. I'd rather pay for five thousand dollars more here and make sure it's right have the doctors here i don't have to get on a plane and then you know deal with all of that stuff um and that it would be a bit more comfortable here having friends and family if i had been alone in another country i think that would have been a bit traumatizing after surgery it would have been traumatizing um and i wasn't quite sure if they'd have experience with westernized, I don't know if that's a word, noses, like Caucasian noses, um, I just, I figured it, this is just an assumption that maybe they wouldn't, um, be too good, I'm sure some doctors would, but I just, I wanted to make sure. Um, I didn't see a plastic surgeon, I saw an ears, nose, and throat surgeon, so maybe if I had seen a plastic surgeon, I'd have more of a look that I desired. I don't know, maybe that's thought number 420 um, that I could have done better. Um, yeah, so I would have gone to an ENT and then I would have gone to a plastic surgeon. That's what I would have done. <laughs> um, but yeah, otherwise, not too bad. I've made a um, vlog about it, so I will put that in the description with the picture of what I asked for. Um, random photos, all the other blogs, and little snippets of like diary entry stuff. Um, and then yeah, and then the final results. Um, yeah, so I shared it on Instagram to see what people thought. I got a much better response on Tumblr than I did on Instagram with all my friends that saw it. Um, no one sort of, you know, obviously they're not like your closest friends on Instagram or anything. I mean, some of them are, but you know, so the people who didn't know, they weren't very close friends, so I'm not too sure what they think, but <coughs> who cares. Anyway, have fun. Ta-ta.